this uh, video we will learn about density and relative density those two are the important topics to start with the stability so first is density so what is density as we have learned in physics that density is the measure of heaviness or lightness of a material so to understand this we will take one jar and in this we will fill water so this is water and then in the same jar we will pour some oil so this is oil so as we know that oil will float on the surface of water so this is happening because the density of the oil density of oil is less than that of the water so we know density of oil is less than uh, density of water that's why oil is floating on the surface of the water okay this is very important concept uh, in stability because uh, moving forward we will encounter some questions related to density and relative density so we can also say that it is a measure of how tightly packed the particles or molecules of a material are so if anybody will ask you the definition of uh, density so you need to write these two definitions and also density is mass per unit volume so this is also one of the definition we can add while we are writing the formula so it is saying that if the molecules are tightly packed then this material will be denser because more molecules will be there molecule okay and in this the molecules are less so it is relatively less denser okay so we understood that uh, how density is affecting so density is also defined as mass per unit volume so we are denoting density as rho so rho is equals to mass upon volume okay so unit is as you know the si unit of mass is kg and volume is meter cube so si unit is kg per meter cube okay and uh, when we are solving our question so we will use the unit tons per meter cube because we are dealing with the heavy loads so we will use this tons per meter cube in our stability problems for your uh, knowledge the cgs unit is gram per centimeter cube this is just for your knowledge when we are dealing with the questions so we need to understand that density wherever density is coming is equals to mass upon volume but in stability we are always calculating the displacement displacement this is very similar to mass but uh, not actually the mass it is the displacement that how much water is displaced uh, when the weight of the ship increases okay so displacement is similar to mass so we can say it is volume into density or more specifically more specifically we can write displacement is equals to under water volume into density the displacement symbol is like this. Okay. and uh, under what volume we are writing same and density we know we are writing rho okay. so some important densities which we are using in the stability that is first is is first is density of fresh water that is equals to 1000 kg per meter cube okay so we can write it as 1 ton per meter cube or density of salt water is 1025 kg per meter cube or we can write it as 1.025 tons per meter cube this is very very important and we are using throughout our stability session the next topic is relative density so the term relative itself means in relation to anything else or with reference to anything else so uh, we are saying that relative density that means the density in relation to density of another material so this is the definition relative density of a substance is density of a substance in reference with another substance so reference option is taken as water so generally we are taking the density with reference to uh, water so how we are calculating it is like suppose you need to find out density of uh, density of some oil okay relative density of some oil because in questions you will be given relative density of uh, water relative density of oil that the ship is floating in rd rd that means relative density of water uh, 1.015 so you will be given like this in the question so you need to know what they are talking about so uh, rd is suppose rd of oil any oil so rd of oil is density of oil divided by density of water here they are taking pressure okay so suppose density of oil is 0.95 ton per meter cube and density of water you know 1 ton per meter cube that density of oil is 0.95 that's it because uh, relative density has no units no unit that you need to remember 
because relative density is one density in relation to another density or with reference to another density so it has no units so you should remember this okay. the formula i already wrote that is density of substance divided by density of water okay and unit is unit is no unit okay it does not have any unit okay. so i hope you understand this so we know that density is greater than density of another substance density of one substance is greater than density of another substance then substance two will float and substance one will sink so to explain this we will draw one diagram so suppose this is a container in this container i will fill with water and i will drop one i will drop one iron nail in it okay i'll drop one iron nail in it so it is sinking why it is sinking because iron nail will sink why it is sinking because the density of iron nail is greater than density of water okay so if you understand this then i have one question that why ship does not sink so you can answer this question in the comment section and how does a ship float to get this answer this question i have already answered in another video so you can check out that video you will come to know how the ship is floating and what is the principle behind that in further videos we'll proceed and solve some questions related to density and relative density so thank you very much for watching we'll solve the questions in next videos